So now we will see set timeout versus set interval in JavaScript. So guys, basically the set timeout waits for a specific time period before calling the callback function only once. So guys, basically there is a timeout that we have to define inside the set timeout after which the callback function or the lines of code that we have defined inside the set timeout will be executed. And apart from this, we also have something called a set interval, which is going to continuously call the callback function after the specific time period so guys basically we provide the time period over here as well but after that time period the lines of code or the callback function that we have provided inside the set interval will be called continuously and that is why we have this particular keyword that is interval which means after a specific time interval the lines of code will be executed in a loop so guys let us check this with the help of examples in VS code over here so simply we are going to create a new file so as you can see we have set timeout set interval dot js file so guys over here what we will do is first of all let us understand the functionality of the set timeout over here so guys simply we are going to provide the timeout of three seconds which means it is 3000 milliseconds over here that we have to provide and then after this what we will do is simply we are going to provide the console.log statement and then over here we will say this statement is printed after three seconds so guys we have a very simple statement that is this statement is printed after three seconds over here after waiting for the 3000 milliseconds or three seconds so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file so as you can see we are waiting for one two three seconds and then we are getting this particular statement printed on the terminal and this is how the set timeout function that is a built-in javascript function will work it is going to wait for a specific time period that we have provided over here as the second parameter and as the first parameter we have the callback function over here inside which we have a very simple statement now guys let us understand the set interval built-in function so guys over here before providing the set interval let us provide the date function over here in order to get the current timestamp of the system so simply we are going to have date it is equal to and then we will say new date over here which is responsible in order to get the current system date and time and then guys simply what we will do is we will have the console.log statement over here and then we will say date followed by dot and then we have the function that is to local time string over here so as you can see this is the function it is a method that is going to return us the current local time string so guys let us use this particular function and let us see what will be the output over here let me just comment out this set timeout built-in function over here so that we only get this particular output on the console that is getting the current time of the system so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we we have 12 1 30 pm over here so basically this is the 12th hour and the first minute and the 30th second and once again if we try to run this code again so as you can see it is again 12th hour one minute and then 44 second over here so guys in this way simply we can get the current time of the system over here now guys what we will do is we will provide this particular lines of code inside the set interval timeout and after every second we want to print the current system time so guys in this case the set interval method is the best method in order to achieve this task it will help us in order to continuously print the current time of the system after every one second so guys over here as you can see this is the set interval function that we are going to provide and the interval is something in which case we are going to provide one second or 1000 milliseconds so let me just use this particular set interval built-in function and then over here we will provide 1000 milliseconds which means after every one second the lines of code that we are going to provide inside this callback function will be called so over here let me just cut this particular lines of code and then simply we will paste it inside the set interval built-in function over here 
so guys as you can see this is the way we are going to call both these lines of code after every one second and we are going to get the updated time after every one second so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see now we have started getting the time 29 30 31 32 33 34 and the seconds are simply increasing over here and after every one second we are getting the updated time in this case so 12 3 45 46 47 48 pm and so on so guys basically it is going to continue infinite number of times because we have not provided anything inside our code in order to stop this particular set interval so what we have to do is we need to stop this particular terminal right now by using the control plus c command over here so as you can see we have successfully stopped the execution of the program so guys in this way after every one second we are going to call these lines of code over here by using the set interval built in javascript function now guys it is very important to note that this this particular function will be executed infinite number of times and we should be having something in order to stop the execution so what we have to do is when we are going to call the set interval function it is going to return some id over here so basically let us capture that id inside another variable that is id in this case so what we are doing is we are calling the set interval function and whatever id we are getting we are assigning it to this particular id variable and then guys what we we have to do is we need to provide another javascript function that is clear interval so basically we have something called as clear interval over here which is going to clear the interval that we have set by using the set interval and it is going to take one parameter which will be the id of that particular interval so guys over here simply it is a method and hence we are going to provide the open and close parenthesis in this case and then inside this we have to provide id over here so guys in this way we should be able to successfully stop the set interval that we had started now guys we simply cannot provide the clear interval over here after setting the interval since it will start the interval and then immediately it will stop the interval as well and we will not be able to see any output over here on the terminal so what we have to do is let us say we want to check the timing for 10 seconds over here after the 10th second we want to clear the interval that means we want to to stop this particular interval so simply we can use the set timeout that we had used previously in order to achieve this task so guys over here we will say set timeout in this case and we want to stop after 10 seconds which means we have provided 10,000 milliseconds over here and inside the set timeout we will be providing the clear interval over here and then let me just paste this line of code that is clear interval along with the id that was set by this particular set interval so this set timeout will help us in order to stop this particular interval that was started after 10 seconds and then guys in order to confirm this what we can do is we can simply provide the simple statement that is stopped over here so basically we are providing the console.log statement after providing the clear interval function over here which is going to stop the interval from printing the time on the console so guys let us see what will be the output let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal now you will notice that after 10 seconds the set interval will automatically stop printing the current time of the system so when we run this code once again over here so as you can see now we have started the time 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 so at the 50th second we have got the stopped command over here that was executed after the clear interval in this case and as you can see the program was automatically stopped over here due to the clear interval that we have already set inside the set timeout in this case so guys it is important to note that whenever you are going to call the set interval over here it is important to clear the interval as well in order to avoid the infinite execution of these lines of code that we have set inside the set interval and you can simply use the clear interval along with the parameter 
parameter that is id which was returned by using the set interval built in javascript method so guys these are the differences between the set timeout and the set interval so to summarize the set timeout can be used in order to execute the line of code only once after a specific delay that we have provided as the timeout whereas in set interval you can execute the lines of code continuously after the specific time period that you have specified as the interval over here and also it is important that you clear the interval after the required task is achieved for which you had used the set interval method so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about promise in javascript so stay tuned